This is a production of Florida State University. Coming up on FSU Headlines, Florida State University continues a meteoric rise in the national rankings and welcomes future physicians with a symbolic presentation. Plus, the Seminoles are back in action all over the sports world. FSU Headlines starts now. Hello and welcome to another edition of FSU Headlines. I'm Dennis Schnitker coming to you from inside the magnificent William Johnston building here on the campus of Florida State University in Tallahassee. Florida State is one of the top public universities in the country and for several years Florida State has been on the rise in the U.S. News and World Report's annual college rankings. That trend continued this year as Florida State makes another significant jump in the rankings. FSU Headlines reporter Mark Vaughn has the story. What a great day for Florida State University. I want to welcome everybody to our campus and uh, what I consider probably one of the proudest days in the history of Florida State University. Certainly it's a proud day for me as president. It's a great time to be part of Florida State University. FSU is celebrating a national recognition as a leader in student success and the university joins a lead company in the process. It's an amazing accomplishment for this university that, that all the credit goes to so many people, uh, our faculty, our staff, certainly our great students that have come in over the last five years. For the fifth consecutive year, Florida State University is making a big leap in the national rankings. FSU has moved up eight spots in just one year to the number 18 public university in the nation. U.S. News & World Report moving FSU up 25 spots over the last five years. That's the fastest rise in the country, and it's a credit to FSU's dedication to student success. But to reach number 18 is a real achievement, and it's, uh, it's due to the work of so many people all across campus, all our faculty, our staff, our uh, enrollment management team who's been working together for 20 years to make sure that all our students get all the services that they need without barriers between those different offices. And our great students that we have coming in now, um, they really are terrific. We're so pleased to, to be recognized among our national peers for the great institution that we really are here at Florida State. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis recently spoke very highly of the efforts of Florida State to help its students succeed. Go from 26 uh, to 18, you know, that is a remarkable uh, ascent. And I think that from, from John and his team and the administration to the faculty and the alumni, the board of trustees, everyone that's been involved with that, you know, just as governor, I want to salute you for your efforts. But um, I just want everyone to know how proud I am of the work that everybody here has been doing over these last many years. Thank you. FSU has made an intentional focus on graduating students in four years retaining freshmen after their first year, and making experiential learning a priority. And those efforts are reflected in this ranking. It's also a return on investment for the state legislature. As a preeminent university, FSU was able to use new funding opportunities to hire 125 new faculty, which improve class sizes and research opportunities. Significant in the sense that it, 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 it tells people that this is really a university that stands out among all the public universities in America. And for that reason, it'll help us in the future attract, continuing to attract good faculty, outstanding faculty, outstanding students, and certainly uh, for me, a return on investment from the fact that the legislature has supported us over the last five years uh, in an incredible way. And that's having a tremendous impact on student success at FSU. And of course, that's the key for all of this. I'm spending my senior year uh, really getting to see what the student success looks like at the bottom level um, and really getting to see what student success looks like from faculty members and staff here investing in me every single day and encouraging me to go to graduate school and encouraging me to study hard and do well in school and achieve all of those dreams I have for after my time here. I couldn't be prouder. Couldn't be prouder for our students that are here now, but I also am proud for the ones who've been here. And I know that this university will continue to achieve great success in the future. For FSU Headlines, I'm Mark Vaughn. And Florida State's recent run up the rankings is the greatest climb of any university in the top 50. That might explain why nearly 7,000 new students enrolled at Florida State this fall. And FSU welcomed every one of them at its new student convocation ceremony. 
This celebration of Florida State traditions marks the beginning of a young person's Florida State education. Check it out. FSU was always my first choice. So getting in kind of just heightened the love for the school and then coming here also heightened the love for the school. So I'm just really excited. On behalf of our faculty, our staff, our current FSU students, I welcome all the new students to our great convocation this afternoon. I think the convocation really sets the tone for their transition and just like how it's going to become that they're welcome and it's really a family. I love it. I remember when I got my acceptance letter, I was like in my car and I was just like screaming, screaming because I was so happy. But yeah, I love it here. It's just the energy is amazing. The moment that I walked onto FSU, I, I knew that this is where I was going to be. And before fall classes even started, a select group of incoming Florida State University freshmen were already getting their first lessons in leadership. These ambitious first year FSU students decided to trade in their final week of summer vacation for a unique learning experience. It's called the Service Leadership Seminar and about 40 freshmen are selected each year to participate. Here's more. That line needs to be more diagonal. Service Leadership Seminar or SLS is a program for students, first year students who get to come a week early and get to serve their community and learn about themselves through leadership, identity, and service. When you're facing forward basic in this position, right? So 45 degree you're at an angle. So the rope, right, should be at an angle comparison. I'm very thankful for my SLS experience and the main reason I'm thankful for it is because it really was the door opening for growth and for expansion in not only myself but like understanding how I can expand my ideas and my ideals and the things that I learned here to other people and help them to expand and it's an ever-growing community. Just the feeling of like you know being able to give back to the community that like we came into. It's been like an amazing transformative couple of days I came here expecting like you know a couple of like fun activities but it's really been like immersive and really deep. SLS provided me with so much information that I thought I had a good understanding of, but they really just expound upon it in a way that really um, changed my viewpoint and how I think about it. So I definitely say it's been really instrumental in redefining the way that I think about leadership and service. So the information has definitely been um, astounding. The Service Leadership Seminar's interactive activities are designed to help first-year students create positive, sustainable change on FSU's campus and in the local community. To learn more about the program, you can visit news.fsu.edu. And while Florida State University welcomed its largest freshman class in school history this fall, Florida State also welcomed one of the largest groups of graduate students to campus. Here's more. Welcome to graduate school at Florida State University. Welcome to the greatest time of your life. It really is a transformational experience going to graduate school. It, it changes your life for the better, forever. And we just want the students to know that this is why FSU is special. We care about the students. We care about the young people. And it's the young people that are going to change the world. I'm excited to learn about all the traditions. I'm excited to kind of be uh, ingrained into the culture. You know, I'm excited to be, to be able to study and work with my classmates. I'm excited for it all, honestly. I want to become a professor. I want to teach and I, I want to help spread, you know, the knowledge of culture and language. And being here in Florida, I've heard so many good things about this school and about the, the Italian program in general. So yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that I was accepted. Uh, the family atmosphere is so strong. Like we actually did a clothing swap earlier um, and we're having pizza at a professor's house this week. Like we are a community, we are a family and it's just so great to get here with all the new information, just have a home already. Graduate school is not always easy, but as I say, if it's too easy, it's no fun. And you know, we all have to um, develop and, and grow and that's the fun of learning. All right, coming up next on FSU Headlines, first year medical students receive an iconic symbol of their new profession.
three best days in a dean's life are welcoming a class, putting white coats on a class, and graduating a class. So it's really, really neat to see these students just feel a sense of accomplishment. We'll take you to the white coat ceremony when FSU Headlines continues in a moment. At Florida State University, we're proving that students from all walks of life can achieve at the highest levels. We're proving that intellect, creativity, service, and daring matter. We're proving the next generation can do more than dream of a better world. They can make it happen. We are Florida State University. When you buy a Florida State University license plate, you're not just showing your school spirit. You're supporting students like us. In the lab. In the classroom. And in the library. Putting this tag on your vehicle helps Florida State students achieve their dreams. So show your pride. Purchase an FSC license plate today. Welcome back to FSU Headlines. I'm Dennis Schnitker. Florida State University is home to one of the nation's top medical schools. The FSU College of Medicine is the most selective in Florida and the only medical school in the country in the top 10 for both African-American and Hispanic enrollment. The college recently presented its newest students, the class of 2023, with one of the profession's most recognizable and most important symbols. Take a look. Three best days in a dean's life are welcoming a class, putting white coats on a class, and graduating a class. So it's really, really neat to see these students just feel a sense of accomplishment. The white coat is one of those real tangible examples and tangible symbols of the medical profession. Putting on the white coat means something very, very special in terms of taking on the, the responsibilities, the ethos, the morals, et cetera, and the professionalism of being a physician. And so this is their journey. This is the beginning of their journey. I've been smiling all day. I've looked forward to this uh, opportunity to get my white coat and to really feel like I'm going into the medical profession. Chase forehand. Before I get the coat and as the coat is going on me, it's just going to be such a fulfillment of you know what I've put all the work I've put in, in the last few years, and then an excitement as I look forward to what I'm going to be able to do the rest of my career. Shalon Ba. You know, honestly, it just means a lot um, to know that FSU believes in me. Um, to make such an investment because I have um, been dreaming of this day, well, actually dreaming of being a physician for a long time. Um, and this is one step on that ladder, just getting there. Dance Marathon at FSU is Florida State's largest student-run philanthropy, and it's all for the kids. Last spring, Dance Marathon at FSU raised a school record $2.2 million. Now, those student organizers are cutting some big checks for charity. Dance Marathon at FSU raises money year-round, but it all culminates with a 40-hour dance marathon each spring. This past year, FSU Dance Marathon broke its own record, raising more than $2.2 million for the FSU College of Medicine and its pediatric outreach programs, as well as the Children's Miracle Network and UF Health Shands Hospital. Here you can see Dance Marathon at FSU students and representatives of the Children's Miracle Network presenting a check for $1 million to the FSU College of Medicine for the benefit of children throughout Leon and Gadsden counties. Today we had multiple people show up and show out at the College of Medicine um, and we presented a check for over $1 million on behalf of Dance Marathon at FSU 2019. There's nothing that's better for a dean than receiving nice big checks to help us to support our programs. What we love the most about this is this isn't just FSU programs, these are community-based programs. What do you get when you add the arts to the STEM fields? STEAM! That's STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering and Math plus the arts, STEAM. Schools are recognizing the important role of the arts in the STEM fields. That's why Florida State University's Developmental Research School is constructing a new state-of-the-art STEAM building. 
The innovative facility will be equipped with flexible learning spaces, fully integrated technology, a 750-seat auditorium, and much, much more. This morning marks the commencement of construction for the continuous improvement and new STEAM building facility. We're beyond excited today to be here to celebrate the beginning of more innovative educational space. And isn't this a happy occasion, even though it's hot as heck, uh, it's a happy occasion, I think. My buddy, Dr. Chambers, uh, school board of this administration, the faculty, the staff, uh, for all you do to make uh, FSUS one of the best, best schools in the state of Florida. I hope you all know it's an A school, right? You know about that, I'm sure. Very proud of that. Not only that, but you have the best teachers, in my opinion, in the state too. It's an amazing project that helps our students. It's a place for Southwood and Tallahassee to meet and come to learn together as students and as adults. And also, um, it's going to, to further the work that Florida State University is doing in terms of being a top 25 and um, our, our relentless focus on research and education. Terry Brown is no stranger to Florida State University. She's been helping keep FSU safe for 28 years as a valued member of the FSU Police Department. Now Brown becomes the first woman to lead that department. Leon County Judge Nina Ashinafi Richardson swears in Terry Brown as Florida State University's new Chief of Police. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. As I mentioned, Brown is a veteran law enforcement officer. She served as FSU Deputy Chief of Police since 2018 and succeeds David Perry, who recently accepted a similar position in North Carolina. Brown has twice been named FSU Police Officer of the Year. She was honored with the Florida Police Chiefs Association's President's Award earlier this year and was the association's first outstanding command officer of the year in 2016. Brown also graduated from the FBI National Academy in 2014. I think it's a great accomplishment for her, but it also reflects well on Florida State University also. And uh, she's earned it. That's the main thing. She's been here 28 years. She's an accomplished police uh, a person and uh, from her experience, and I know we're in good hands. And I know our students, our faculty, and our staff will appreciate her leadership. It felt wonderful. You know, I hope I am a role model for other women. Um, you know, I, if you had asked me 28 years ago if I would be standing here as chief, I don't think I would have, you know, I, it didn't even cross my mind. Um, but now standing here as chief, it is a wonderful experience. And again, I hope I can serve as a, as a role model for other women. The FSU Police Department is a fully accredited law enforcement agency that employs approximately 80 sworn officers responsible for law enforcement, campus access and security services, and emergency management on campus. For more information about the Florida State University Police Department, you can visit them online at police.fsu.edu. Florida State University prides itself on being a military and veteran-friendly university, and that pride was recently recognized. FSU President John Thrasher signs and accepts a proclamation that officially designates Florida State University as a Purple Heart University. The recognition comes from the Military Order of the Purple Heart. This national nonprofit organization is made up of veterans who are awarded the Purple Heart Medal for wounds they suffered in combat. The proclamation says that as a Purple Heart University, Florida State will encourage all citizens to show their appreciation for the sacrifices of Purple Heart recipients and all veterans have made in defending our freedoms to acknowledge their courage and to show them the honor and support they have earned. As a Purple Heart University, FSU will continue its longstanding mission to support veterans who are pursuing college careers after serving their country. The recognition was especially rewarding for President John Thrasher, who's a veteran himself. He says that FSU's goal is to become a national beacon of veteran support and success. To learn more about this story, you can read it online at news.fsu.edu. Florida State University's annual Festival of the Fine and Performing Arts is back at Florida State for another outstanding season. 
Acts making their way to Florida State this season include pop legend The Beach Boys, Broadway star Kristen Chenoweth, and bluegrass sensation The Slocan Ramblers, just to name a few. I find that the artists who come in as part of our program add a nuance to the academic community that's really, really special. Students have an opportunity to see some of the world's greatest artists. An important component of opening nights is the Masterclass and Kennedy Center partnership educational outreach programs. Visiting artists and performers take their skills into the classrooms of Florida State University and Leon County Schools to educate students of all ages. And this year's series will be dedicated to the late Sandy Dallenbert, who created the predecessor to opening nights during his FSU presidency. What a fitting tribute. You can find out more at openingnights.fsu.edu. Well, still to come on FSU Headlines, the defending national champs return to championship form. Seminole Soccer, when FSU Headlines continues in a moment. Welcome back to FSU Headlines. I'm Dennis Schnitker. It's the fall semester, and that means FSU's fall sports teams are back in action. FSU Headlines reporter Mark Vaughn joins us now to give us an update on all the action this month. Hey, Mark. Hey, Dennis. Well, it's a beautiful time of year and also a fun time of year here on the campus at Florida State University, and that's because all the fall sports are now in action on the field and in the gym. We start with soccer and the defending national champions looking to gain some momentum in the heat of their schedule now. The Knowles with early wins at home against TCU and then number 16, Wisconsin. That led to a road trip, a tough road trip out west all the way to California to take on number four and number five ranked UCLA and USC in consecutive matches. The Knowles, though, on the wrong end of one goal losses in both those games, but they rebounded for a huge win over their rivals, the Gators at home here in Tallahassee. They continue that new win streak against Samford out of Birmingham, Alabama as well, six to nothing that score. The Knowles with big games in the ACC through the rest of this season. This conference, one of the toughest in the NCAA and the Knowles will look to grow as a team even more. They realize they'll get everyone's best shot because they are the defending national champs. On to the other football field in Dope Campbell Stadium. The FSU Seminoles into the second year with Coach Willie Taggart. The team starting off the year on a tough note, though, after a come-from-behind win by Boise State. That game played in Tallahassee, where it was supposed to be played in Jacksonville to open the season, but Hurricane Dorian moved the game back home. The Knowles on the wrong end of a close loss, though. Into Week 2, the Knowles into another tight game, this time against Sunbelt opponent Louisiana Monroe. That game a showcase of all Cam Akers can do running the football, though. It was a back and forth struggle all the way through to overtime. Surprisingly, the Knowles having to play some extra football with the smaller program. But again, it's Cam Akers coming through big time, scoring on the go ahead touchdown. And then it's ULM answering before they missed the PAT. A bit of luck giving the Knowles a first win of the season before heading into the all important ACC schedule. And that one looks as tough as ever. Coach Tagger saying everyone must improve. We got to continue to teach the proper way of playing the game. It um, goes back to what I said before about learning how to win um, again and teaching our guys again how to win. All those little things is what it takes to win ball games. Now we head indoors to the indoor volleyball squad and that team off to a great start of the 2019 season. FSU volleyball looking to build on last year's NCAA tournament appearance with plenty of players back and adding some new additions. And they start off pretty hot with a huge win over number three Minnesota early on this year. It's the highest ranked win in program history for the Knowles. But they follow that up with a tough loss to Colorado State. All these games out of Tallahassee, but they'll be back home soon enough. The Knowles have a big season ahead with matchups with Florida and a tough ACC schedule with all the big teams at home and of course some of them away. And you can see that schedule online at Seminoles.com. You can also see all the other sports action going on over there. That's going to do it for me, Dennis. Let's send things back to you. All right, Mark, thanks for that update. 
If you've been to a Florida State football game or other sporting event here at Florida State University, then you've no doubt enjoyed the sights and sounds of the Florida State University marching band known around here as the Marching Chiefs. The Chiefs geared up for another year of musical performances all around FSU, so here's a special look at their preparations. There, there's nothing better than when you smell uh, football in the air in Tallahassee. <laughs> We've been going now for about two and a half weeks solid. You know, our, our, our two a days um, were two weeks before school started. Preseason's a lot of time, it's a lot of effort, a lot goes in to all the people that are on this field, and I give a lot of credit to them. They've been working for this. They're really excited. You know, they uh, they live, breathe, eat uh, Florida State football, uh, marching chiefs, and so when those two things come together, it's a special thing. Being able to represent Florida State, Florida State athletics, Florida State fans, just at every event we go to, it really makes me excited. I wouldn't been do I wouldn't be doing this for five years if I didn't enjoy it. So the, just the length of length of time I've been doing this says a little bit of something how much I enjoy this program. Now you're a chief first, so really we're no better than anyone else on the field. We're just another gear that's helping the band function. So I'm super excited to be here. I'm super excited for the football season. I know we're going to have a good year this year, especially coming out of last year. But all the excitement surrounding just the band, the school, the team, just I'm really excited to see what, what's going to come out. We're very proud of the fact that this is very student-centered and student-driven. And, uh, and I think that's going to benefit them far past their years in marching chiefs. That's going to do it for this edition of FSU Headlines, but you can see more news from Florida State anytime on the university's official news website, news.fsu.edu. For everyone here at Florida State University, I'm Dennis Schnitker. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.